everybody welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel I hope you're having a lovely day excuse how i look i'm just about to put some makeup on like a little bit so i thought i would just start the vlog now and i can chat to you as i do that where to begin um obviously i've not uploaded in a while i think like the whole of march because I've just been trying to sort of wrap my head around what's going on at the moment. Of course my boyfriend would run upstairs at this exact moment in time. Say hello to the vlog. Hello vlog. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, obviously it's a really strange world to live in at the moment with everything that is going on. But I'm trying to remain as positive as possible. And just take each day as it comes. So yeah, I hope you're all well, happy, healthy um taking care of your mental health today marks one week since we it was announced by boris johnson that we were on lockdown um where he hasn't used that word we're on lockdown aren't we let's be honest so yeah it's just a bit of a strange time and i find it crazy that in years to come this will be told to our children and our grandchildren and probably spoken about in like history lessons and all that jazz. I'm not gonna lie, I have been struggling with keeping a routine. My sleeping pattern has been really off. Basically, as far as my personal situation goes, I, so we've been on lockdown for a week, but the week before that I was unwell, I had a chest infection. And this is when things were getting more seriously progressive by the day in regards to the government's guidelines. And one of the, the guidelines when I was getting ill was, if you have a cough, then you should be staying home. Um, so I did that. I don't think it was the virus because it was a chest infection. Like it, had, it was more like a chest infection. Um, but number one, I didn't want to compromise myself because if I was already ill, what would get on, ill on top me and for me? Um, and two, I obviously wasn't sure what was going on so I just thought best to stay at home so I did I did go back to work for one day and it was that evening that it was announced that you shouldn't be going to work unless it's absolutely necessary so no not leaving the house at all but yeah basically in that time um that I was unwell and obviously the last week as I was sleeping a lot during the day to try and feel better and to fill up the day um I really threw my sleeping pattern off so at the moment I've been going to bed at like four o'clock in the morning and waking up at like 11 12 o'clock so I've wasted like half my day and I kind of want to get out of that because it makes me feel so like sluggish and I don't know it just made it I don't think it's very good for my mental health I am queen of naps but the aim is to not nap during the daytime so wish me luck and I'm not usually doing my makeup every day but I just need to try and feel a bit better but I'm gonna vlog this week and show you what I've been getting up to because even though it's pretty boring for me on today's agenda I have got a zoom call to do in an hour or two with my work to basically there is some work from home that we can be doing so we're just having a catch up about how to do that and I'm gonna go on a walk today I haven't been out in a few days I have been on one walk so far so yeah I'm gonna go out on a little walk today just to get some fresh air That's another thing has anyone found that they've been really off their food since we've all been at home i have like snacking yeah i could snack till the cows come home but like actual meals i'm not in the mood for i've been playing on animal crossing a lot because the newest version just came out recently for the switch and obviously me and jess have a switch so i pre-ordered it just in time obviously before i knew that any of this was even going to happen i've been thinking about this i'm wondering if a lot of the idea behind animal crossing is like a really calming game for people who maybe have mental health issues i don't know i saw a tweet saying that it really helps with depression because it gives people something to look forward to the next day because obviously it's played in real time and stuff i don't personally play it in real time i cheat and i time travel but yeah and then it got me thinking i was like do you know what, ever since I, whenever I like, I'm getting panicky, I tend to always go on it and it really chills me out. So I've been spending a lot of time on there. I know that might be sad, but what else have we got to do? TikTok, I've been watching loads of TikTok. I even made a couple of my own. So I'll link my TikTok profile down below. How long can I, do I have to wait until I can start uploading the cringy dance videos? Hopefully not much longer because I'm obsessed. I catch myself singing all of the 
TikTok songs like every day. We are quarantined at my house. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I live with my parents still and my boyfriend Jesse is staying with us as well. So we're all quarantined together, all four of us. I know this is like a prime time to sort of let everything go and like not wash your hair as often so that it gets healthier. But I find I've been washing it more because I'm like so bored. I'm like, oh, I'll just go and have a shower. That'll fill 20 minutes of my time. So I've been washing my hair a lot more than usual. Like normally I can make it last about three, four days. And I've been washing it every other day, and now I can really tell because when I don't wash it for a day, like a chip fry. But because I'm sick of outlet, this doesn't really matter anyway, does it? So this is literally just what I want to stick in my face to lie around the house in. But you guys have requested that I do a everyday makeup tutorial, not tutorial, but to show you what my everyday makeup is. Um, so I will be doing that. That will be another upload that comes in the next few times and I'll show you like my actual makeup rather than just the stuff that I stick on. For example, like I use a different foundation for my day to day. Um, oh, do you over here? I'm already out of breath just from standing up for a bit too long. So that's me. Also, like is anyone finding like fake tan wearer is like the extreme amount of hand washing is like making my tan so patchy so quickly um and so dry like my hands get so dry at the moment from all this hand washing i'm not complaining because i know that it's literally such a small um sacrifice for such a big um preventative measure but if anyone's got like a product that would really help out that you can recommend then let me know and i just can't even be bothered to do my nails or anything. I have got some stick on nails that I was wearing over a couple of days ago, but they just come off so easily. What are we gonna do, guys? What are we gonna do? So I managed to actually do an Asda shop online, which is coming on Thursday, and I bought some stuff to like a cupcake making kit. But I think I might go ahead and make some cakes at some point this week. Like I, I'm literally racking my brains on stuff to do. Um, so I might have a go at that if I've got ingredients. Anyway. That's me today introducing the vid. I'm not sure if I've got anything else exciting to show you today. So I might speak to you another day. Peace. See you later. <sighs> Honestly guys, I can't believe I'm even bothering to come on the camera right now. I mean, look at the state of me with fake tan. Essentially went wrong on my face last night. It's like clung in so many patches, but ignore that. Um, I'm really struggling today, like really struggling, I'm having a really, really bad day for my mental health and I honestly debated whether to pick up the camera or not but I think it's very real right now to be feeling like this. Um, Jessie's gone for a walk and I couldn't even bring myself to leave the house, I'm just... Which is so backwards, isn't it? Like, we have one opportunity to leave the house every day and I can't even bring myself to do it. I just, I, I don't think I've ever felt, like, scared like this before. Like, it's so strange. And, yeah, every now and again I will have moments, but today has been a whole day of just, like, panic in my head and I can't calm down. <sighs> so, if anyone's feeling like this, like, you are not alone, trust me. I probably sound so stupid to some people who just don't don't get it, but... Basically, what set me off is that I saw some sort of worrying statistics on the news. And I shouldn't have gone looking for it. I shouldn't have, but I have. And it's made me feel this way. And I'm just trying to stay calm and relax. I've set some restrictions on my phone now. I've turned on... If you go onto screen time, you can set downtime, it's called, um, on your settings. And you can essentially like decide what time... You're not allowed to enter your apps anymore so i've done it from nine o'clock because in the day i'm quite good at not picking my phone up at the moment but at night time i really struggle so i've done that bought myself a kindle because i really like to read and i feel like now is a very good time to do that and sort of you know you can get lost in a book for hours so i'm gonna do that um and i ordered myself an aromatherapy diffuser i used to have one but it broke so I've ordered myself a new one and some a set of essential oils to go with it and also some rescue remedy. Um, 
I find that really helps me when I feel anxious. I can't believe, I'm literally looking at myself now like I can't believe I'm filming, looking this god awful. Hello everyone, this is a bit of a strange um, setup for me, uh, but I am coming outside today to do something productive. Yeah, it's been a couple of days since I last vlogged. Um, I'm doing okay, I had a bit of a better day yesterday. Today I'm a bit like in the middle, which is why I'm trying to come outside and do something. Um, you have to excuse my hair, I did some like heatless curl thing last night that I saw on TikTok. Um, and I'm thoroughly regretting it because it looked like Goldie look. But, so this is an old picnic bench that we've had in my garden for literally like as long as I can remember. It's probably older than I am. Um, and I've been spending the week trying to strip it back to the wood to sand down and then repaint dark grey. So, um, Jesse's going to help me so I'm going to go get him and we're going to get started on sandpaper in it and painting it. If I can't have you, I don't want you to have anyone. And if you don't want me, there's something wrong with them, right? Maybe I got problems that I don't tell anyone. Have I lost my perception? Feel like I wanna do something wrong now. Packing all your belongings. Say you wanna take some time. But if you say we'll meet again. Right, I'm flashing red, so I have to be quick. But I've done the top of the bench. As you can see, I'm gonna come back on another day and do the actual seats of it. I think it's going quite good. So I finished painting, I look very dishevelled. Um, I have paint literally all over my jumper and my joggers, on my face, in my hair. Jesse's just playing his Xbox. And we just had an Asda delivery arrive for our food order, so next job of the day is putting that all away. What can I do? You're so loving and gentle to the core What can I do when you fill me with happiness and much more? What can I do? You're so stunning, I just can't look away What can I do? I should know by now you make my day Never more will dreams expire bad luck and I did a whole like 10 minute clip earlier of um like talking to you about my day and explaining what I've been up to and stuff and I've just accidentally like, deleted it when I've come on here so that's fantastic but I'm just going to show you an Amazon unboxing um of some stuff that I bought earlier this week I'm just having a really bad anxiety day to sort of keep in mind for when I am having them in future I guess just to keep me calm every day so I'll show you what I bought I bought um, an aroma diffuser. I had one of these ages ago, um, but it broke, so I bought a new one. And to go with that, I bought a box of essential oils. So, oh god, I haven't even opened this yet. It looks very fancy, um, but it's got lots of different essential oil bottles in it. Maybe I'll try and open it for you guys whilst we're on the vlog. Um, but yeah, so you just add water and an oil of your choice to the diffuser and it lets off like that really nice steam it's not hot or anything it just lets off lets off the steam it's very calming to look at and the scents obviously like if you're using like lavender or um chamomile that sort of thing um but it's nice so let's open this again that's right oh that looks really fancy actually doesn't it look like it'd be a nice gift Oh, the even the box smells nice. So I've got lavender, bergamot, lemon, tea tree, spearmint, rose, peppermint, rosemary, sweet orange, grapefruit, eucalyptus, jasmine, sandalwood, and yang ylang ylang. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Um, oh wow, and a little card to tell you what each one is, is good for and what properties each one has. So that's very technical. I'm kind of glad I sort of pushed the boat out and got a good set um and yeah i haven't opened this so let's open this as well shall we i just wanted something that was white to go in my room so 
I didn't, a lot of them are like wood, like that have like a wood effect on them, but I just wanted a plain white. There we are, it's just this little thing. Um, timer sleep light because it comes with like multi coloured lights on it, so you can like have it like change colours um, if that calms you as well. I bought some rescue remedy. I don't know what that is, it is a spray, sometimes you can get a little pipette droplet bottle um, and it's essentially a like a herbal remedy and I don't know if it's a placebo effect but basically you take it, you either drop it into a drink, into your mouth or spray it into your mouth um, and it's like a herbal remedy for anxiety, panic, that sort of thing so um, yeah I don't know if it's a placebo effect but either way it works for me so I like to have some of that when I'm feeling particularly bad with my anxiety and also treated myself to a kindle because I love to read um, I do find it a bit annoying to read books though because I tend to want to read late at night and I sleep a lot later than Jesse does I can't put the light on to read because he's sleeping so at least this will give me something to do if I'm feeling anxious and it gets me off my phone as well I find that being on my phone at the moment is making things really bad for me so anything that can distract me and just keep me at peace is really good so I'm excited to set that up I got the white one um I've never had one before my mum had one ages ago um but I just thought do you know it's a good idea and I just seem to I seem to think that they were really expensive I mean they're still expensive if it's not something you want to invest in but I thought they were like over £100. I thought they were like tablet price but they're about, I paid £50 for this. So yeah, I'm very excited to use this. Oh, here you go. Thank you. So I'm going to download a book tonight and start reading. Um, and yeah, so I bought those four things. They all came to about £100. Um, but I think it's worth it to invest in things that keep you a bit calm every once in a while. Um, Apologies if you can see little hairs on my top. I've actually just finished trimming Jessie's hair for the first time. I am no hairdresser. Um, it didn't end up the best, but I think it was okay, you know, like considering we're all in quarantine and he was starting to look a bit like Wolverine. I'm probably going to wipe all this makeup off now, relax and do some reading. But I hope you've enjoyed this weekly vlog. I know that it's been like a bit of a, a funny one because of everything that's going on. Um, I'm usually a homebody anyway, and I know that there's more serious things in the world right now than a happy, healthy girl who's at home. Um, but I just want it to kind of normalize the fact that it's okay to feel really overwhelmed during this time. So if you are, like, please don't think that you're the only one. And I, I get moments where I feel bad. I'm like, oh, but like, there are literally people dying. Like, stop overthinking it. But it's like, you are entitled to these feelings. So, you know, if you're having, bad anxiety bad mental health at this time then there are so many things that you can do for it and do what makes you happy you've got all the time literally all the time at the moment to do whatever you want to fill your days with whatever you want so whether that's a project whether it's just sleeping to get you through the day whether it's you know whatever it is you don't need to be doing some crazy productive stuff just because the internet's telling you to if sometimes all you need is just to lie in bed and watch some films on disney plus then you do that okay anyway i'm gonna conclude the vlog here um i hope you enjoyed it please like the video if you did hit the subscribe button if you haven't already turn it from red to gray and i'll see you in the next video bye